Hello everybody! Hello, this is Paul. Welcome one and all. Now, fans of the channel for a long time will probably recognize this. This is King's Quest 1 for the Sega Master System back from what? Oh, there it is, 1989. Parker Brothers took the wings on this one. We did a live Let's Play of this one probably, oh, I don't know, three years ago? But I was recording footage which eventually got a little bit lost and or damaged and or, oops, don't know where I put it, for uh, some King's Quest project I was working on. So we're going to play it again, and it be, we can do it right this time, because now I know what I'm doing, and I think I remember King's Quest lore well enough to not have to worry about it. And I was really surprised, especially when I first heard about this, 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 King's Quest 1 on a console, oh my god. And it's, it's wonderful. It's sprite-based, it's cute, it's colorful. I love it. Now, the Sega, not the best method. It's so hard. There we go. You're in the deadly water. There is no hope. No hope whatsoever. Thank you. Oh, and right next to the crocodile. Thank, okay, great. We were doing we're doing wonderfully so far. We're sorry that you have not succeeded. There are great the greatest quests are often the most dangerous. I was going to say I was going to try and do this like in one go. I think it's possible. Here we go. I don't remember all that much about King's Quest One. That's such a weird force perspective though, because you can't walk straight ahead. You don't walk across the bridge in an arc. You actually have to do it solo. It's almost like kind of a Lucas Art system kind of way and then I think it's contextual so the more you move around in different areas you'll be able to do more things like here yeah here we go so now there's a door on screen so I can unlock I can open so if I say look at door oh that's automatic okay so you change your noun first and then you click your your verb interesting all right so knowing our King's Quest lore open we have to go talk to the king first and foremost and it is Kind of a uh, a pretty faithful recreation, I've got to say. Parker Brothers really took their uh, they took the initiative on this one, and pretty soon I want to show everybody the King's Quest uh, Five remake on the Nintendo, and you can see how not to do it. Hello, King. Bow to King. Is that still worth a couple points? I I fell into a hole. I'm fine. Uh, talk to King. When you speak to King Edward, he says. I am old, my end is near. You can prove yourself worthy to take the throne by going on a quest. Find and bring back the three magic objects that exist in my kingdom. If you bring to me the magic shield, the magic mirror, and the magic chest of gold, the throne is yours. And that's it. No, uh, no pomp, no circumstance. Some really interesting attempts at forced perspective here that don't quite work. But we, uh, Parker Brothers, we totally appreciate it. And I remember we also sort of lovingly called this Super Mario Gram or Super Grammio Brothers because this, the weird sprite based, uh, it, it doesn't, it works, it really does, but it does not lend itself well to a, uh, to an adventure game. So push rock, there we go. Okay, um, when I say push rock, I don't mean pull it on top of you like a goddamn stone blanket. And I don't think there's actually a way to save in here. So every time I die, guess what I've got to do? That's right. All the way back again, baby. I don't even know if you have to go back and talk to... Why are there pictures of uh, hard-boiled eggs on your flag, Mr. Edward? Is that your family crest? Do you guys worship the almighty hard-boiled egg halves? Now all... Oh God, now all I want in the world are eggs. There... How many versions of King's Quest 1 are there in the world? Okay, let's not do it this way. Let's push the rock up this time. There we go. I know in the DOS versions, when you push the rock, it goes over down, I think. So this is why I stood up here. But inexplicably, one of the few things they changed in this game was that the rock goes up. I was, I was nowhere near it. And I, I don't think that hole is that deep, guys. I'm off to a great start. I'm good at video games. Interesting. So I was just checking it out. I discovered how to find my inventory screen and the score. So I went in and I bowed to the king, which I think was worth a bonus point in the other versions, but not here. I also discovered the other menu, and this is why we call it Super Mario Graham. There it is. You just jump whenever you want. Just jump. Boop, boop, a doop. And you can also duck. 
which is adorable. That's also the bowing animation, apparently, and he's stuck. I Oh, you have to hit stand again. Adorable. So anyway, so how many versions of King's Quest 1 are there? So there's the original, which came out in the 80s. On the, uh, what was it, the A... Is it the SCI engine? I think it was the SCI engine. And then uh, the remake came along in the 90s. So this was sort of in between, I imagine. I can't... Why can I not push the rock right now? Why? Can I do it from down here? Okay. So let's not move toward it. Look at hole. See a dagger. So now I know the dagger is there. Um... Push. Oh, I can throw rock. I cannot throw the rock. All right, fine. Uh, get rock. Okay. Takes some getting used to. Get dagger. Bam. All right, so let's check our status. And that means, all right, good. Score of 10. We have one inventory item, which is the dagger. I love these birch trees, by the way. I think that changed it. So now we're sort of like in Icelandic area. Where else do birch trees grow? I don't even remember. Okay, it's been a long time since I've King's Quested. I think I remember what to do. I remember there's stumps. I remember there's woodcutters. There we go. You have entered the impoverished abode, wow, of a woodcutter and his wife. The place is in bad shape, ellipses. Their only decent possession is that of a nice fiddle. That is really condescending, Ram. Just go and say, oh, look at the squalor in which you live. The only nice thing you have is that fiddle. Can I have it? Look how huge I am. Even in the Sega version, King's, uh, King Graham is a buff man. Or I guess he's still Knight Graham at this point. Candy Graham is what we'll call him. Because uh, he is pink and beautiful. Look around, swim, climb. Oh, wrong menu. My bad. Uh, look at... I don't want to... No, I want to interact with the uh, people. I, I can't talk. I can look. Give... Okay, so we, they did not program a way for me to actually talk to anybody. I don't think I can just take the fiddle. I need to see. Get. No, get fiddle. I can't do that right now. Hmm. Playing this game for the first time on the Sega would be really difficult. Can I take your axe? No. Axe doesn't exist. Uh oh, swim, 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 swim. Yes. Now, why can't I do that in the moat? Just because there's a crocodile in it? I bet I could outrun it or outswim it. Oh, boy. I don't remember anything. Is this the witch's house? I thought the witch lives in, like, a candy house. Um, uh, don't, don't junk. Oh, as you eat. Didn't even mean to do that. Eat the candy house. A voice says, nibble, 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 little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? Okay, that means the witch is home. Without a place we do not want to be. That does not look like a candy house at all whatsoever. All right, so here's the cave. We'll have a reason to go back there later. Oh, and the condor just kind of appears whenever. So we can go to the sky. I don't think we want to go there just yet, but I, I assume that's where the jump command comes in. That's the reason they wrote that into the entire game is so we can jump on the condor. Um, let's look in the stumps because I remember there being some bonus points maybe. Look at... Stop looking at the dagger. What is so fascinating about this dagger, Graham? There's a pouch in the stump. So, uh, get pouch. I have now have a pouch filled with diamonds. That's the other thing that like, always kind of tripped me out about King's Quest. Is that you're supposed to be looking out. You know, there's a broke kingdom. It's like, oh god, we have no money. We have no, we have no anything. Uh, look at pouch. He wants to say it with me. The pouch is empty. Yeah, but it's full of diamonds, so it's a lie. I thought there was the, uh, uh, what's his face? The ogre? I guess the ogre's not, there. there's the troll. He's a domestic goddess. Seriously. Well, I really liked your 90s, uh, sitcom, uh, troll. I'm suddenly reminded how little I remember of this game. Oh, there's the, uh, four-leaf clover. Okay, we'll need that. So, get clover. I can't. Yes, I can. There we go. And I think there was an acorn up here. Show, throw. Where was the acorn? Maybe there was lying on the ground. All right, it's not there. And I believe also in King's Quest 1 there are like the random events, as it were. So like there'll be a wizard wandering around or a wolf or something that you have to try and escape. There's the fairy 
godmother, and I think she just makes you invincible for a while, but I don't want to waste it, because I think she only gives it to you once. So I'll uh, I'll wait on that. So here's some carrots we're going to need, so uh, get carrots. Mm -mm -mm. Stealing from the king's garden, baby. Oh, I keep forgetting it's right up there. I always get lost in this game. I don't really have a map, nor do I have this memorized, but I do believe they kept all the uh, all the locations intact. The only thing they didn't keep intact here was uh, Graham's color scheme. The uh, the pink uh, the pink shirt with the kinky the kinky boots and the yellow feather. Uh, they're working with a limited palette. I understand. All right, I can't. I can eat the dagger. I cannot eat the dagger. Okay, I thought I could climb this tree, though. Uh, oh, wait, is that under this one? Aha! No. Can I? I can! Upsy daisy There we are. Alright, I knew we could do it. Alright, uppy, uppy, uppy. And... Eggy! In the tree, you see a golden egg! Looks just like a regular egg to me with the one yellow little splotch on it. I can't quite tell from here, but whatever. We're taking it. Uh, get egg. I can't do that now. Yes, I can. Get egg. Not, oh, not give. Get. Love it. Forget what I do with that. And the one wonderful thing about playing this game with a controller is that climbing is so much easier because you can move in a diagonal now. Which I don't think you could do until the, uh... Oh yeah, the wolves... Really nothing to worry about, because they don't have any pathfinding. So, yeah, he just can't get to you. He does look cute. He looks like, like a little basilisk. He's got like, his little tongue hanging out, and his multicolored teeth, and his ears. Oh, he's so cute. Let me see. Uh, where are you going? Alright, well, he's no threat. No threat whatsoever. All right, so our first mission is we have to find the well. And once we find the well, we should be able to go down and get the dragon. Which, this will be really good for those who are... I forget what this is. Oh, I think that's where you come out from, the leprechauns. Uh, for those who are watching the King's Quest, uh, like the remake uh, Let's Play that we're doing. Okay, I can't talk to him. He uh, he freezes me. Who don't aren't really familiar with the original King's Quest game. So this will kind of give you a, a refresher, as it were. So, in King's Quest 1, you, the, the main thing you have to do is uh, you, you're working for King Edward, and you have to get the three major treasures, which is the Magic Mirror, which will tell you the future, which you saw in the King's Quest, uh, I think, episode 1. I, why can I not find this well? This is awful. Uh, let's see, there's also the Chest of Infinite Gold, there's the About to Drown, yes, and then there is, oh, what was the last one? There's the Chest, the Mirror, and the Shield, I think it was, that makes that's supposed to make you invincible? Where is this bloody well? There it is. It's not a very impressive well, it basically looks like a tent, wait. Oh, that's not the well. This is the bowl. Uh, let's see. Give. No, wait. Uh, get bowl. I, I can totally do that now. I. It's right. It's it's right here. I can. There we go. So that's the bowl. I know it kind of feels like I'm just kind of breezing through it, but it's because I I, I I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. It's kind of like a not a speed run because if I was doing this as a speed run, I would have been. I would stop being lost. But anyway, so now that we have the bowl, that's what the woodcutters want. Not that we have a way of knowing game, because we can't talk to them. What's he do? I think he just gets into a fight with you and you die. I don't remember seeing him at all. But anyway, well, here's the woodcutters. We can give them this bowl. Now, it's an enchanted bowl. Let's see if we can take a look at it. Look at bowl. I see nothing special. Um, see, Lore says, if you look at the bowl... Inside it, it's supposed to say the word fill, and then you say fill to it, and then it, it fills infinitely with, like, beef stew or something. All right, but that's what these guys want, because they're impoverished and they're starving, and if you could talk to them, they would say, it's like, oh, we can't even catch a fish, oh, we're destitute, we're dying. So we're going to fill the bowl. I can't do that now. Okay, so give bowl. There it is. You kindly give your bowl to the woodcutter, but you still can't talk to them. Which is really weird. So now we'll fill bowl. 
And there it is. Oh, it's not even stew. Weird. Upon your command, the magic bowl fills with hot stew. The woodcutter is so happy that he offers you his only value possession. His wife. The fiddle. I'm sorry. And that's not stew. That is a bowl of fruit. That is obviously a banana and orange and perhaps a sprig of parsley of some sort. Anyway, fiddle. Get. Get. Fiddle. Egg. Oh, wait. I keep saying get eggs. Like, there's another egg here, but no. Feed the fiddle. I can totally do that now. Don't beat around the bush with me. All right, let's see. Use. Eat. Eat fiddle. And how overjoyed they look. What is this blue thing on the table, by the way? Is that like a fork? Did I give them a spoon and a knife for their uh, their beef stew? Or fruit plate? As a, Stop it. Okay, anyway. Do we have the fiddle? We have the four-leaf clover, which means I believe we can head underground to the leprechauns, but I usually save that for the last. It doesn't look like a candy house, so how you're supposed to know this if it's your first time, I have no idea. Eat door. I cannot eat the door, but I can eat the house. Wait, no, I can't. Eat candy. Okay, so she's still home. Can't go in there yet. All right, so we haven't found Rumpelstiltskin yet. Oh, oh, there's the witch. Apparently she is out and about. There's the well. We found it. Okay, here we go. So let's get inside the bucket. That's how it works. Um, look at use bucket. I cannot use the bucket. How do I... Oh, maybe I just lower it and I'll just climb down the rope. That's probably it. So use rope. Cannot use the rope. Uh, lower bucket. That, that'll be the trick. I cannot lower the bucket. You... I know I can. I, I know I can. I use this thing. That's the crank. Lower bucket. Do I have to be like just the right position? Use rope. No, no, don't hack the rope with the dagger, you idiot. That didn't do anything. I didn't cut rope. Eat rope. I cannot eat the rope. Lame. Uh, get bucket. I'm running out of ideas. All right, I got it. Help me out here. There we go. Lower the rope. There we go. I don't know why I had to take the bucket off first. That makes no sense. All right. Um, use rope. I cannot use the rope. How do I go down? Can I do lower self down well? Cannot use the rope. Uh, hmm. Show lower raise look at give get cut rope. No, that's bad. Uh. I think I've made a mistake. Well, in the meantime, even though the witch says, hey, who's nibbling at my house? She's actually not home. So I guess just kind of break in and see what happens. Okay, okay, all right. I think I remember what I need from here. We'll go back and deal with the well in a moment. Uh, open cheese. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do I know the cheese was there if I didn't open it before? Okay, so get... Uh, cheese. I'll need that for starting some sort of whimsical machine later, I'm sure. And then we're supposed to read this note. Uh, let's see. Look at note. I see nothing special. Okay, so we'll get the note first. Uh, oh, damn it. Uh, look. Uh, look at note. I see nothing special. Damn it. I missed the clue. Throw note in disgust. Well, all right. Well, it probably just said the normal thing, which was, oh, man, I can't cover my tracks here. Uh, close. Can't. All right. Born in a barn. But it, it, the note said, um, I think, think backwards. It is sometimes best to think backwards was the original clue, which is giving us a hint to what to do with guessing Rumpelstiltskin's name. As, oh, don't do that. Oh, there's the skinny goat. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's Pappy. Pappy the goat. Speaking of Rumpelstiltskin, he's exactly who we need. Now, here is a fun little thing. Uh, let's open the gate here real quick. Ignore. Don't even look up there. Open goat. No, okay. Uh, open door. There we go. Now, let's be nice to him. Here we go. So, kill. This is an interesting little button. Why, in the family-friendliest era thing of whatever, of King's Quest, would there be a button that says kill and kill goat? Yeah, you can do this. You can kill the goat. And I think there he goes. 
bonk. Yes, kill goat. You've done it. In cold blood, the future king of Daventry has killed the goat. And it's gone for good. Yeah, you killed the goat. Let's stay. Let's step out. Let's go back. It still plays the jaunty music, but that goat that goat is gone. Dead as a doornail. Can I pet goat? Can I do anything nice to the goat? Well, yes, I can. I can give him the carrot. Carrot, he likes the carrot. There we go. And now he'll follow you anywhere. Uh, normally. Hey, goat. There he goes. Come on, goat. We've got a troll to get... Goat, you're, you're literally fencing me in. Goat. Thank you. Goat, goat, goat. Pappy, come on. Pappy the goat. Let's go. Um, uh, no. Pappy? Are you following me still? Or do you need another carrot? God damn you, Pappy, and your pathfinding. Maybe if I leave this way, he'll follow me. No. No, he's not. Um, uh, well, great. All right, well, I guess I need another carrot in that case. I don't get it. He doesn't follow me. He's supposed to be, we're supposed to be like besties now. Oh, well, maybe if I go to the bridge, maybe he'll just sort of show up and help me out. I think I can change the speed on this too. Yeah, there we go. There's my speedy King Ram we love so much. But I'm fairly certain, look at him goose stepping around. But I'm fairly certain this is not the case. There he is. Oh, there's the troll. Does the goat come? No. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Ugh. Well, guys, I guess that'll be good for one part here. We'll have to figure out the goat conundrum for the time being. But for now, my name is Paul. And as always, good night, Jelly Beans. Good night. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. Uh oh That was three feet. What? Are his bones made out of, like, wafers? Sanders the Crystal Cave. There you <laughs> Eat Wandy Death, Yeti! Or eat my face. What an abominable situation, Green.